So in this section, we're going to be looking at the equations of straight lines. And I want to start by looking at horizontal and vertical lines. So when we have been considering plotting coordinates, so let's say we had the point 3, 4, then on our axes, the way that I initially described that is thinking about, well, the x-coordinate is 3. So here is your x-axis, and you have a point 3 on the x-axis. And what I considered was, well, on this line here, all of the x-coordinates will be 3, because they're going through 3 on the x-axis. So this point here, for example, that has y-coordinate of 1, this point is 3, 1. And then this point here, which is at 2 on the y-axis, will have coordinates 3, 2. And then we will have this point here, which is at 3 on the y-axis, which is at 3, 3, and then one more. At 4 on the y-axis, well, this is 3, 4. And all of these points have x-coordinate of 3. So when I write down x equals 3, we interpret that as the line that goes through all of the points where the x-coordinate is 3. And so that is a vertical line. So this line here is x equals 3. And sometimes that feels counterintuitive because uh, we often want to write down that, well, if it's x equals, then we would like that to be a horizontal line because we have the x-axis. Okay, we refer to that as the x-axis. But actually, the x-axis has itself an equation, which is y equals 0. And the reason why the x-axis is y equals 0 is because all of the points along the x-axis, such as this point here, has coordinates 3, 0. So its y-coordinate is 0. So you'd have 2, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, minus 1, 0. They all have the y-coordinate of 0. So the x-axis is otherwise referred to as y equals 0. So for exactly the same reason, the y-axis, all of these points, have an x-coordinate of 0. So this is the line x equals 0. So if all vertical lines on our Cartesian grid, on our coordinate axes, are x equals, then horizontal lines are y equals. So y equals 0, y equals 1, y equals 2, y equals 3, y equals 4. So this line here, this is y equals 4. Okay, All of the points that are on that line have a y-coordinate of 4. So what you need to recall here is that horizontal lines are of the form y equals something. So let's say k. And vertical lines are of the form x equals some number k. OK, so it sometimes, you know, it feels like it's the wrong way around because you have it so ingrained that the x axis 
is horizontal and the y-axis is vertical. And then I start saying, well, x equals a vertical lines and y equals a horizontal lines. It does feel a bit strange at the start, but the moment you get it connected with coordinates, that you're thinking that the x coordinate here is always 3, then x is equal to 3 makes sense.